The six blasts shattered Kuwait's capital city, erupting within minutes of each other. The targets were plain, any building housing American or French personnel. The onslaught started when a booby-trapped truck crashed into the American embassy compound. Minutes later, a series of explosions went off throughout the city. Four people were killed, a further 50 were treated for injuries, mainly cut from flying glass. Casualties would have been a lot higher if the car bombs had reached their targets. Both the American and French embassies, the vehicles exploded before their drivers managed to ram the buildings. Apart from the embassies, the control tower at Kuwait airport was also hit, along with a number of other government properties. The attacks were identical to the suicide bombs in Beirut last October. Then nearly 300 French and American soldiers were killed in the explosions. And it was the same group which claimed responsibility, the Islamic Jihad organization. They're an extreme pro-Iranian group which has vowed to continue its suicide attacks on members of the peacekeeping force in Lebanon. It's the group's way of getting back at the Americans and French in particular, who recently mounted airstrikes against Syrian-backed forces in the Bekaa Valley. American intelligence had already warned President Reagan that another suicide attack was being planned. He'd been told recently that as many as a thousand extremists were ready to sacrifice their lives for their fundamentalist beliefs.